Ryan, you better watch out. That's a bull. No, you better watch out, Ryan. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, folks, welcome back for another Will It Start. Today, we're going to be doing a Will It Start on one of our old Will It Start videos. This 1896 case, if you guys are some of the OGs from the channel back when I had like 100,000 subscribers, this is the tractor in the video that put us over the top. I thought, what better thing to click off the end of a great year back to YouTube with something that brought us where we're at today. So right here at Mr. Hilton's property. And let's see, we, while we're here, let's walk around and see some of the old wheel it starts we did and see what kind of condition they're currently it Looks in. like Bo just dr <laughs> drug something out of the woods there. Look at that. There was something up in there. But this man has got things everywhere. Let's walk over here. Oh, it looks like he got a new to him skid steer with tracks on it. Dang. It's about time he finally upgraded. Oh, boy. I don't remember if we started this thing up. Maybe we were going to. This old JCB. Uh, I think he said the engine had a knock in it or something, but you can see there's no cover over the stack. So that thing pretty much is never going to start. But let's get back out here. That's a nice little track machine he's got there. Dang. So there's an old Alice Chalmers, I think is what this thing is, pump motor, because there used to be, this whole field used to be nothing but orange grove, orange trees and stuff. Look at this bird. Oh, I think it's a V8 Alice Chalmers, I don't know. Comment down below, what kind of engine is this? I don't see a fuel tank anywhere. So I don't know, maybe we could kick the video off with starting this thing. There you go. This will be sweet. It's different. Got oil in the dipstick. Oil's a little little thick. <laughs> I see an A right there. I don't know what that means. This thing may be a cat engine. Oh, Perkins, duh, right there in front of me. So V8 Perkins, which is really similar to what's in a lot of the Massey Ferguson tractors. Hmm. I don't know. The only thing is, is once we kick it on, is this dry shaft going to start turning because it's got a hand clutch here. And you can almost bet your rear end that that thing is stuck. <laughs> Guaranteed. Should have brought a weed eater out here. So, <laughs> before you came along when Aaron was with me, that's what we had. We had weed eater we took with us everywhere. What do you think? Should we try to start this thing? Yeah. At least see if it budges over or something. Yeah. And then we'll go out there to our old case and some of the other old tractors. we get the tools. So before we jump into starting this thing, we got to mention today's sponsor, and that is Lane Finder the greatest people we work with on all of our Willis Start videos and help to make these things happen with all of our batteries and jump boxes we're always burning through <laughs> to make these videos. They help make everything possible. Let's talk about Lane Finder. So Lane Finder is a really great app. If you have a commercial driver's license and you're looking for a job or a career in the trucking industry that requires a CDL driver's license, they will help you find truck driving jobs from flatbedding, reefer, literally anything, even just a regular old box truck that requires a CDL. Just an amazing company that ensures you having a paycheck at the end of every week or whenever you've agreed to a good pay schedule that works for you. So there's no second guessing. Am I, dang, am I doing all this work and I'm not going to get paid? Am I not going to get the insurance benefits and all these things I deserve? So with all that being said, go to lanefinder.com, do a job search in your area, see what kind of trucking jobs are available for you and that will work with you, your, your schedule and your holidays and you know, the times you want off. So lanefinder.com forward slash Bruce Wilson. Check them out. I'll throw a little display up here on the screen. You can just go to their website, type a few things in, and boom, you've got jobs in your area, and they're really, really easy to deal with. Check them out, guys. Let's jump back to the video. All right, so the main controls are back here. There is a key. Hey, pull to stop. So that works. Right here's your throttle. That's probably not worth Oh. I got some throttle action. Oh, pull to stop works. Well, maybe we'll see if it works with the key before we put old do what I tell you to handle <laughs> on here. <laughs> I got that thing on me, boy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Now keep in mind, this is a big engine. This is a lot of a lot of cubic inches. So this battery probably isn't going to be enough, so we're going to have to put these jump boxes on here. That's a brand new Continental battery. I don't know about that battery cable though. <laughs> that boy ain't looking too hot. Oh, I thought I heard something click on. Oh. oh. I think our 
battery cable is a little crappy. What do you think? Yeah, they're a little, uh, seen better days. All right, I think we're gonna have to use, do what I told you to do. This thing right here, our handy dandy starter switch. Boys, it's cold here in Florida. It's like oh, yeah. 39, 40 degrees and it the is sun cold. is shining. <laughs> it's way too cold for us Floridians. I'm not used to this. I don't know what we're gonna do when we go back up Tennessee. Freeze. We're gonna be frozen. <laughs> All right, where is the starter wire? Dang, back there in the back 40 is where that thing's at. Jeez. I think a lot of this has to do with having some crappy battery terminals too. You know, we may not need this. Let's, um, before we do this, put a jump box directly to the starter. Okay. Let's see if we can get in here these wires. Right there. Oop, hopefully that doesn't break something. That right there. And we're gonna put this right there on a good ground. Turn our jump box on. Now let's hope like the rack isn't stuck in this thing. It doesn't decide to like run away. We're not getting a good connection. Yeah, it's not happy. Come on, come on, baby girl. Give us a connection. Oh, there we go. All right. See if she cheeches. Whoa! Oh. What, the, what the heck was that? Sound like the battery box. I think we just blew up our jump box. It literally just turned turned off. It. All right, we cannot destroy our jump boxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That was. <laughs> what the heck? That's not reading anything. Nothing. Let's try the other one. I want to risk it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If we do that, we're not gonna have. What the heck? Ah! Nuh uh. What, what battery the? was it at? Like, charge? It was at 100, but I think it just blew the jump box up. That is not good. I don't know. Do I risk it with that thing? I say what we do is maybe we go out there. Make sure something else starts for the video. Start. Hopefully. Yep. That's not as risky as this unit. And then maybe come back to it. That isn't going to blow up our freaking jump box. Oh, oh. Maybe it just needed a minute. I think it might have just popped the breaker. That might be what the problem was. Okay. Right, put her back on there. Let's try it again. Woo! <laughs> that was scary. All right. It's going to happen. All right, we're green again. Green means go. Don't blow up. Uh-oh. We've got power. I think that this pump might be froze up. That's probably why the whole thing is just shaking like that. Yeah, I think that's the problem. If this doesn't turn, we know that. Because this right here is a hand clutch, right? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now maybe it released. Or maybe. maybe. I about fell. <laughs> there we go. Try it again. Oh shoot! There oh. you go. Oh, this is I'm so worried it might run away though. We got to be super careful with this because before we get too much further, let's find the intake box and be prepared to like shut this bird down. Oh, I don't know about that intake box though. I mean, it feels like let's pull this. We'll spin it over with the shut off on and make sure it's not blowing smoke. <laughs> Now let's try it with it in. All right, so I think our jump, our, our stopper is working. So let's try it now. Here's the intake box. It's going hot. Going hot. That battery isn't doing jack nothing. This thing's just literally just starting on the jump boxes only. I think she's gonna fire. I think so. Hopefully it doesn't run away. <laughs> this is a will it start right here, boy. Boy, you already know. <laughs> I wish the battery cables weren't so junky. 
only we could get like directly to the intake pipe. Ready? Oh, she tried a cheat right there. Oh, jump box is not supposed to be smoking. Maybe change jump boxes out for a minute. Maybe. <laughs> Give that one a break. <laughs> that one should not be smoking. Old potato. Potato, potato. Boy, I'm pumped. It's been so long since we had like a, a hard to start. Will it start, you know? What you need right there. All right. We're so close. If I could just get direct. It's going to work right oh. here. To the freaking... I think she's trying. We just need to, uh... now, you know what we didn't think about and I didn't check? We're doing all this work. Where's the fuel tank at? <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> it may not start because I don't see a dang fuel tank. Walk around, watch your shin. I know, right? That would mess you up. All right, up. there's a, a big can, but I don't know if that's, oh, that must be the fuel right there. No? She's not gonna start. <laughs> not with with water. <laughs> oh boy, what are we doing, Ryan? We forgot the most crucial thing. Fuel. Wonder if they got gas at the airfield. Diesel. Diesel. Well, I know this thing will cheat if it had some diesel going to it. Maybe we revisit this. Comment down below. Let's go see if we can maybe mess with some of our old wheel it starts. See if those will crank. We know this thing spins over. We maybe should come out more prepared with some new battery cables, things like that. So let's see. Well, uh, let's go out there in the field. Close these back up. Yep. Preserve this old bird. We'll come back to it. Oh, you're sliding. Lock that boy in four wheel drive and go. So for some of you guys that have been around a long time, this is the tractor that we, this was our very first number one official wheel at start I ever did with my brother Aaron. This case 1896, it's got a 12 valve Cummins in it with a VE injection pump. And the reason it was parked so many years ago, like 15, 20 years ago by Bo is the transmission stopped working and he just parked it in the field and they went and bought a new one because it was already an old tractor at the time. So. We got out here and got her started and fixed the transmission and got it running and driving. <laughs> but it's got like some really bad blown hydraulic lines and a lot of other issues. We actually put this fuel pump right here on it brand new. Now whether or not it's still good or not, or any good, you know, there's no telling, but this fuel pump right here, Aaron and I replaced it so many years ago. It's crazy because it already looks like it's 20 years old again, doesn't yeah. it? So we're going to start this up, but before we do that, we're going to revisit the old Alice Chalmers right there. Which one do we do first, this one or that one? Should we save this for last? Yep. All right, let's go start the Alice. All right, this lid comes off somehow. I just don't remember. Oh, that right there. <laughs> oh, boy, look at all this rat's nest. cable here or is that a few oh batteries up in the front of this thing that's right how did we even get in here I don't remember half of this stuff I think we might have just jumped it right at the starter I don't remember I truly don't oh look at all that dirt that battery cable ain't doing jack Else maybe we can just use just the jump box 
maybe. Let's try that. All right, old faithful, don't fail me now. Beep. Oh, I guess I should hook this stuff up too, huh? Maybe. Is there a key in it? Yeah, no key. I think this one, we kind of just made it work. Like we got her going, it didn't want to go. It's been so long, it's been like three years. It's crazy to think I've been making YouTube videos that long. Hook that to that. Um, we're gonna need some kind of a battery doing something here. Yeah, right there's where the wire I cut back last time. Make sure she's in neutral. Come on, old girl. Give me something. Oh, our jump box is smoking. We must have grabbed a bad jump box. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh yeah, she's smoking. Look at her. Right from the front. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not good. No. Yeah, go grab the uh, other jump box that isn't going to catch on fire. Okay. Try it again. Shall we try it again? I think so. Don't burn this one. Now, keep in mind, guys, these jump boxes are amazing, like absolutely amazing little tools here. And we don't really use them for what they're intended for. You know, we're starting up stuff that should have batteries in it. Um, they don't to take that first initial like kick and load. And we're just kind of like giving her the beans <laughs> and hoping it works. So these are good, really good tools. Just don't take what we're doing and judge them. Come on, boy. Hit. Yeah, we got to have something to help it see that initial charge. So, where's the ground cable at? There's a ground wire in there. Oh, that's right, this thing folds forward. Duh. There we go. Shoot, boy. We're gonna get in here after all. Um, I need to go see if there's any vice grips out there in the uh, dealio in the truck because we're going to need those to hold that to the battery. We're not giving up that easy. <clears throat> this boy did run because I drove it right here 35 years ago. Oh, shoot. I thought you were only 20 something years old. <laughs> it's from <laughs> overtime. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I hold it to the battery. I'll see if that works. Hey, there we go. I think our uh, starter solenoid might be... Might be froze up. Still smoking. What is the jump box? Yeah, you can smell it. <laughs> starter might be bad on it we're 0 for 2 0 for 2 we, we got just, do we give up on it this easy i know that one will start i don't care if we gotta drag the thing around the field and gear behind the titan it's gonna crank oh <sighs> crap give her the juice all right let's go freaking i guess we're just gonna have to make that that one run that massey that massey will start we gotta we gotta start something before we start that okay fair enough all right let's go make the massey cheech this one has a battery in it, and this might be one we left in it, actually. There ain't no telling. See if we can set this boy down in there. Uh-oh. 
Oh, there we go. I was like, uh-oh, ain't gonna fit. All right. Bam. She's gonna start right off, you watch. First hit. Boom. <laughs> You know what? I guess everything just has to be manipulated. It's Christmas Eve, you got work for it. This thing's just gonna do what I tell it to do, whether it likes it or not. Oh. Hmm. There's starter wire. Get off of there. You're gonna like this, and you're gonna like it a lot. Let's check it. May not have a good battery connection too. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Got guess a good connection here. Got a good feeling. Alright, we need uh, some pliers and tighten up these jumper cables. Or the lead right here on the starter is just loose. Maybe I press it with my foot. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's gotta stay hooked up for this to work. This is our solenoid here, the starter solenoid. Dang it, Ryan, you spoke too soon. I'm sorry. I'll go get the pliers. Shh. <laughs> All right. Come on, baby. Do something for daddy. Oh. That back there. He's right here. That's warm. It's just corroded so bad. Damn. All right. You know what? I'm tired of, tired of this. Don't go blowing up that one. It's gonna do what I tell it. I'm gonna keep putting up with this crap. Go to work. We're not getting a good connection. Ah, this must be up here. Oh, it says we're good there. Son. Why isn't it? What the, oh, dang it. I swear, it's like the stars align and then they fall apart. Oh! 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 oh. oh. I told you. Oh! There you go. I told you something was gonna start. <laughs> Woo! What the heck? It probably ran out of fuel. <laughs> Ain't got no gas in it. The gas, diesel's turned off. Ain't got no diesel in it. <laughs> All right. One down. We're one for four, or one for three. One for three so far. Okay. Let's move on to the final boss. Oh. So here she is, a 5.9 Litre <laughs> international case. This thing, I really can't thank all of my subscribers and everyone enough because this is the tractor that put us on the map and the Will It Start world when we first did our first Will It Start forever ago. So it should, if my calculations are correct, Cheech with the key. 
because when we left it, um, key, it started with the key and drove around and just leaked oil really bad. So I'll put that right there. I brought a ring of keys with me and I think one of them, I saw the case key on here earlier. There it is, right there. That should be the case key. It should start it, in theory. Theoretical values. Um, oh, we left the key in it, so every, even better. Even? Right there. Because it's a little chilly. Oh. And put that right there. I'm gonna turn the key on, see if something clicks. Oh. Nothing's happening. Is it the right box? But I don't know if it's a neutral. Yeah, this one's a good one. <laughs> the one we haven't burnt up today. Biscuit. Oh. Biscuits and gravy. Stay. All right. Did I bring a test light with us? Maybe we can make sure this thing's got power everywhere it should. Let me go check. So this is not how I recommend testing to see if something's got power, right? So we're going to take this right here put it on our ground and if this sparks we got power at the starter Ooh. Ooh. oh yeah yep. oh oh fire boy <laughs> cool. all right we got power there so now in theory if I take this put that right there put that right there it should spin over that's hot that's hot that's hot so I'm jumping around up here like a crazy person. And I guess I didn't put the transmission back in park last time we started it. So she just spins over. She ain't blowing white smoke though. Let's uh give her some throttle here. They're beeping. Go over there and we will uh, prime the fuel pump up some and crack the injection pump loose. This boy's gonna start. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Bitty, boo, bitty, boo. Yeah, we're gonna start today. Crack that loose. Crack it. Oh, oh. damn. Oh, oh, look at that. Damn. Suffering chuck attach. <laughs> look at all that air. Come on, come on, baby. Unless some crackhead out here in Zever Hills done siphoned the diesel out of it, which is very possible. Or this fuel pump's going bad again. Come on. All right, we got fuel there. I don't need to tighten it up. See if our primer gets a little stiff after messing with it. I mean, it, it's got resistance, you know? Yeah. Let's, uh, this is our return. Let's see if we got fuel coming through the pump. Definitely got diesel inside the pump. That's good. I just can't tell if it's pumping through it or not. But we gotta keep in mind, this thing is kinda cold, so. Let's uh, make sure we got power here with our power testing wires here. Remember what all we had to do. I guess we'll spin it over again. We need to find the air intake on this mug. Ooh. Somehow these right here. We had the hood open. I don't remember which way. Oh, right here. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Heck yeah! Built different. <laughs> this is so exciting. All right, I see the dealio there. Let's turn this boy back on. We're gonna need to hit her with scotch of ether. Oh, I think that's enough. I think so. <laughs> Come on, baby. Jeez. Get it. Get it. Oh. There you go. She's trying. She's cold. Gotta warm up. Put some liquid in the bottle warmer right here, boy. 
<laughs> Ooh, doggy. She gonna warm up whether she wants to or not. Come on, baby, cheat! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's oh. <laughs> Uh, we need to make sure we got power at the uh, injection pump right quick. And the only way to test that is put that right there and see if we get some sparkage. No sparkage. Alright, we're going to run a wire from the top over the bottom. Right there. Right. Now we're going to have to pass this through here without this touching something that shouldn't be touched. All right, leave that hooked there. And let's go make sure we hear the injection pump clicking and we know we got power. Let's see, we got more power. Get that off of there. Yep, oh, that's working. Maybe it's already Working. Right there. Let me hop in here and turn it off. Okay. This boy. This may be our issue right here. Our injection pump is not turning on. We still have. We don't have any more power on this anymore. It must have came loose over there. Yep. All right, so stay right there. All power. Didn't you turn it off? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> Why are we not getting power here no more? Crap. What the crap? I mean, it looked like it was blowing smoke, didn't it? Oh, it was. Like white smoke? Uh, it was kind of dark. Huh. Well, white or dark is, is better than nothing, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. All right, I guess we'll try it again. Let's load her down with some ether. Hit her with the juice. It's ether. <laughs> oh. Come on, baby. Woo! Crap, not fast enough. You gotta be faster than that. I know. <laughs> oh, she's leaking. Yeah, that's the issue. The uh, power steer, the hydraulic oil cooler is blown out. That's why that's another issue it's got. I'm not happy. Put that right there. Let's check our... We've lost our sparkage. Oh no. Oh no, no. Yeah, I mean, I found the culprit. So we have no ground. This is also possible. There we go. Oh, oh. yeah. There we go. Heck yeah. Now we don't have one to reach all the way over to the other side anymore. Do this like this. I mean, I did just like this. And then I did just like this. We have no sparkage. Oh, we got sparkage there. I heard it. Oh. Hear it clicking now? Yep. Now I gotta put this in there. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Without it touching something else. Operation. All right. I've checked the Newtonator valve and our exhaust bearings and our flux capacitor fluid. This thing should cheat. Hey, I got it right there sitting for you. Gotta pick her up and shoot it in there. All right, 
Show her who's boss. You gonna start today, boy. Turn that on. Wait for the green beep. Beep. Send it. Woo! Woo! What'd I tell you? There you go, boy. It's leaking. Pouring out of there. Boy, that bit got a lope tune on it. Wah, 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 wah. Heck yeah. <laughs> got it. Man, that's the best feeling right there. For sure. My wrist hurts. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Crap. What'd you do to it? Well, last time I was riding side by side with Brian and Tommy up there in like October, I went over this hill with the side by side and the steering wheel jerked and like this on my wrist. And it quit hurting like maybe a month ago and now it's back. Like, uh oh. That's not even the wrist I use a lot either. So, uh -huh. so there you have it, guys. Our first wheel start we ever did. This boy cheeches and runs. Maybe one day we can talk Mr. Hilton into selling it to us. This thing would be cool to have and just maybe cut the cab off of it, fix the leaks it's got, and just go cruise around in it. It's just a really cool old tractor. Comment down below. Should we come back out and get that pump motor to Cheech? That would be a sweet video, I think. For sure. Oh, look. I got a friend. Ryan, you better watch out. That's a bull. No, you better watch out, Ryan. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, hey buddy. that boy just takes me off. He's nice. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> nah. -uh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not afraid of cows. I've had cows growing up, but I had one. You never know. It's okay. <laughs> You're okay. Don't you knock me off this tire? I'm gonna spray you with starting fluid. <laughs> Dude, he came running at me. I told you. <laughs> Should I jump on his back? <laughs> I dare you. No, he's old. If it was, if I knew Bo would, wouldn't get mad, then. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Yep. Uh-oh, Ryan, he's coming for you. Oh, hell no. He's <laughs> <laughs> coming, Bruce. Shooting a YouTube video day and Ryan, Ryan got scared of this bull. He's sitting in the truck. What are you doing? What are you afraid of? He tried running me down. <laughs> I mean, he kind of acts nice, but I just don't know for sure. <laughs> he is kind of old, so most of the older bulls don't get too mad about anything. They're kind of nice. He's he lived an like easy me. life. Come on out. Uh-uh. Don't pet him. Nope. I don't have any food for you, bud. I don't have no food for you. <laughs> Did you see the way he looked at me and started running? See how his ears are down? Yeah. He's a nice cow. Maybe. I don't know yet. I don't know either. Get off that tire and we'll find out. Uh oh. I think I can outrun him. I certainly did. Right, come out here and quit being a sissy. Wish I had something to feed him. We'll start a tractor up, see if he likes it. You think he's gonna like it? I think that's why he came over here. Oh, well he might think someone was putting food out. Uh, he's probably used to hearing the skid steer or something. Yeah. He's either gonna like it or he's gonna take off running. <laughs> or he's gonna freaking come after you. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
I rev it up? Yeah. And came right after me. Well, folks, I don't think she's going to start. And our main issue is it's leaking dead dinosaurs really bad. Oh, so, man. <sighs> that's all right. A successful will it start? It's been a good video. I'm happy. Hope you all are having a merry, very merry New Year's or Christmas Eve <laughs> and Merry Christmas. <sighs> And that's a wrap for our very last Wheel It Start video of the year. Ooh, excuse me. Thank you to Mr. Hilton for letting us come out and tinker with his toys. As always, we're going to run over to the RC fly field. My brothers are flying his RC airplanes, and we're going to go check them sweet birds out. You going to say hi to our, bye to our friend Bo Cephas? Come on. I wish we had something good for him in the truck to eat. Do we not have any food? Hey, buddy. Oh, he didn't like that. We've got um, bacon in here. Do you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Some beef? He's a nice boy. He's a nice boy. And that's a wrap for our video today, guys. Make sure you go check out lanefinder.com forward slash Bruce Wilson. There'll be a link down in the description. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll be bringing some really sweet videos to you guys right after Christmas. You're going to love it. This big thing we've been waiting for, selling stuff for, is going to be revealed maybe the 27th the 28th at the latest but it's coming hope you're all prepared guys make sure you smash the like button comment down below should we go back out and get that v8 perkins running and cheeching and pumping water again and uh we'll catch you guys later peace